Hello again, this is Bill St. George. Welcome to another impression show with Bob and myself at uh, the corner of Boylston and Stewart Street at the uh, junction between the uh, Public Garden and uh, the Boston Common. We're actually in the Boston Common right now. And uh, the weather is a bit overcast, but the color, the fall colors are beautiful. So I figured we'd go from maximum, maximum color with the trees to my left and uh, minimum, uh, minimum uh, drawing and stuff. We'll just, we'll just have some fun splashing the paint around, getting right into it, painting wet and wet. So I roughed out a quick sketch, but it's hardly, uh, hardly even worth it just, just to get some idea of scale where these two trees are going to hit and then we'll have everything else going off on the bottom all the fallen leaves really nice this time of year a couple days before Halloween and we'll give it a shot get some areas blocked in and see what happens obviously I'm going to start off with uh, with yellow it's a kind of a yellowish orange so I mixed a little cadmium yellow medium with some cadmium um, with some yellow ochre, yellow ochre and cadmium yellow medium. So that gives it a kind of a nice, nice color. So I think what I'll do is I'll bleed some of these trees off at the top and just be a study in our landscape rather than the usual architecture. There's actually some a little bit of orange in there, so I'm going to throw a little bit of orange. And maybe, uh, can't go wrong with this color anyway. The background I painted in abstract colors, cools and warms, and because I didn't really know what the heck we were going to do until, until this morning. I had an idea, but I figured I'd come out and scout the area and see what see what's out there okay so some of these colors are going to work coming through others um, well they should all work that way okay I'm just gonna again get into these figure where the tops of the trees are gonna end and I would say right probably around here even at you know even at this stage there is some interest going on as long as you can keep the thing moving nice frenetic brushwork keep the thing fairly abstract I might throw in that church steeple over there on the left I don't know just push everything over right now what I want to do is block everything in as, as color and no detail Probably wait until the next show to do that. Anyway, it's a big, big weekend for the kiddies. Halloween. When's Halloween, Bob? When's that? Sunday or Saturday? Saturday. When's Halloween? Saturday. Yep. Saturday. Saturday yeah. Well, anyway. So uh, I think I'll go out. Maybe haunt the house or something. I don't know. Haunt my own house. <clears throat> All right, now. Again, I'm just going to, again, block in areas. And we'll work color into color. Mm. Maybe push the color a little bit. This is green and uh, I don't know what else. Yeah. Naples yellow, I think. And give this a little sense of, uh, some sense of depth. Okay, now. I'm gonna bring this foreground in here, right out, out to here, this green. It'll just be a, kind of a, color exercise as I say that's a good excuse for not knowing what I'm doing and why
When in doubt, fake it. All right. Again, back to the same colors that are on the trees, obviously. It's kind of a no-brainer. Try to stay away from the white for now. Crank that yellow up a little bit more. Space between the two trees here. There's the other tree. I might do, yeah. I might bring this tree. Nah, I'm going to leave it there. I was going to say bring it bring it over to the other side, but we'll leave it. Hey, it's so cold today. I uh, feel like one of those people, street people that dress up in layers, you know. Way back in the day, we used to have... Uh, I used to have a, I worked for an agency down in Summer Street and we have these <clears throat> guys that would live out in the street, you know, street people back, this is back in the 60s, late 60s. Anyway, they used to wear so many layers of clothes, 